Hi, everybody. This is Chris Bennett from Impressive Media Group, and I'm with Karen for... Run for Research. Run for Research. Yes. All right. Karen, can you tell us a little bit about your project um, and your process? Sure. Um, I'll just say Run for Research is a 501c3 not-for-profit organization. We came to be in March of 2015. Um, why we came to be is I've been living with MS now for, oh gosh, it has to be 18 or so years. I, I've lost track, quite honestly. Right. Um, and it came, and there, it came to a point in my life where I realized um, and had to accept the fact that I was no longer dependable in the workforce. So what was I going to do? I mean, I'm, I have a brain. I'm creative. I come from a marketing background. And um, I wanted to do something that was purposeful. So uh, actually, it was when I was getting a therapeutic massage um, that I started to, um, I decided to start my own business. I started out just making, believe it or not, uh, chocolate covered pretzels, where 10% of the profits uh, would benefit multiple sclerosis research. Um, that went on for five years, but I, it was during that time, uh, it, within about five years, that I, I felt that it was not enough, that I'm a very giving, compassionate individual, right. very mindful and very in tune to the world around me, and I wanted to do more. Mm -hmm. So a vis I got this vision and started a Run for Research. We started out with our first, uh, where Run for Research, what we do, um, our, our primary mission is 100%. Um, we implement fundraisers within our communities, and then 100% of the net proceeds benefits multiple sclerosis research. So our beneficiary is an incredible collaboration. It's the Ann Romney Center for Neurologic Diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Um, I met with many, many incredible uh, MS-specific uh, organizations, institutions, and decided that uh, it was the Ann Romney Center that I wanted to support. For, for personal reasons, which I don't need to get into. Right. Um, but what I love about them is, though we tag the money for multiple sclerosis research, whatever wonderful breakthroughs they make um, with MS research, it transcends into other neurological disciplines, um, ALS, Parkinson's, mm -hmm. Al Alzheimer's, brain tumors. So in essence, even though, um, again, I'm tagging the money, for MS research, it can benefit, has the potential of benefiting all these other horrible, you know, dreadful uh, central nervous system disorders. Absolutely. It's a tough road. I mean, I'm not yeah. going to say, you know, but my saying is you got to keep moving. I mean, gotta, nope, yeah. you, you got to keep moving. And um, it's just, it's it's so important. And and for a lot of people, you know, it's, it's a mindset. I mean, yeah. there's days that are absolutely horrific right um, but for me um, even on those days I'll be what can what can I get done today with what's going on correct what how can can I be productive is there something I can get done and even if it's the what would be the most trivial thing to somebody else right you get it done and you pat yourself on the back yep. and say I did this. Yeah. You know? You so keep the momentum going. You got you got to keep the momentum going. Even when it wants to take you down, it's it can definitely control you, but you have to you have to fight. You have to fight back. Yeah. You know? You really well, do. I've known Karen for some time now and she has a, a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't so, see me on my bad days. So, but. I don't I don't uh, I don't doubt that you're keeping the momentum rolling. And then people are probably saying, "Why are you guys standing outside?" Like you have right yes but we have to show this beautiful property and we have to talk quick about why we're outside and what what, what you want to do with this property because this this is a beautiful farm thank that you, you live on thank so you. why don't you run us through through that and, and and besides that vitamin d is important for ms patients so i'm getting my natural vitamin d through this yeah exactly exactly <laughs> right? we're gonna get a suntan today in pennsylvania yeah, yeah <laughs> we are um uh, basically i wanted to be outdoors because I, I find it very invigorating, and it's so beautiful out today. Mm -hmm. But um, we recently um, I, uh, moved to Doylestown, mm -hmm. and we have a property, um, uh, an old working farm. Yeah, we're gonna pan out, and we're gonna we're gonna pan out and take a look mm -hmm. at this uh, at this property here. I'm I'm working solo today with a selfie stick. <laughs> you know, I make people fun of people with selfie <laughs> sticks, but you know, I'm running solo uh -huh. with a selfie stick here. So we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do. 
um, and, but, and pan around here. So this is the farm, right? Yes. This is the farm. So behind us is the garage that we can see. <laughs> and then we have your beautiful house, right? Yeah, that's a... And then we're going to just scroll back around here and we're going to take a look at the beautiful property that you have in there is a lot. It's about five and a half a acres. Of Eventually we're going to have a horse, a couple sheep animals. And being that what, what we do, what the organization does is we implement fundraisers. Our biggest is our um, 5K and family festival. And can I talk about that a little bit later? Sure. Um, sure. But I'm hoping to have some animal related fundraisers on this property that would be awesome and get and get patients out here their families caretakers out on this property and to be able to conduct some fundraisers here because i have the space and it's it's very i believe it's very inspirational uh -huh. um and and i want to share it all right well, and let, i think that's the best way let's so. move on down to the fence and look at the, that part of it you got okay. it okay all right, so Karen and I have made it down to the farm. <laughs> down on the farm. <laughs> down on the farm. And uh, one of the questions I wanted to ask you, Karen, sure. is uh, what sets your foundation apart from others? So all the foundations are good, right? Of course. Everybody, there's so many wonderful causes out there that do such wonderful things in, the, in our community and in our world. Um, but with Run for Research, um, what I'm so proud is we're, we're grassroots. And we're entirely volunteers, uh, volunteer run. So I have people who are involved with it because they're standing by me, mm -hmm. but but really because they have um, they believe in this cause, and they're very compassionate um, and filled with passion um, to helping the chronically ill people with MS right. and neurologic disease. Ultimately, because I was what I explained to you before is it can potentially benefit all those other diseases mm -hmm. um, so the fact that we're all volunteers and what's really important that I would like to convey um, and um, that I think that everybody really needs to know is 100% of the net proceeds gets donated and I I know that it gets right into the hands of, of, of the people that dedicate their lives to wanting to help people who are ill have better lives and even save their lives. Um, and right. just knowing that, um, you know, the, 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 mon the monies that we raise goes to research and our costs are minimal. I budget, budget, budget. So the only things that we're uh, putting the money toward that is not going to research, the only thing is getting the fundraisers off the ground and operating costs, right. you know, minimal operating costs. That is it. So I feel strongly that I, that I wanted the public to know that because I know that when individuals contribute, when, when large companies, national, global companies, local businesses contribute their hard-earned money, that I want them to know that that money is going where we're saying it's going. And that's that's really important to me. Right, because there's a lot of foundations that unfortunately have like a 13% or 7% yeah. actual rate that's being donated when people donate. Yeah, and own. I know ours is much higher than that. And quite honestly, I don't have the numbers in front of me and it's I okay. can't answer that. I'm not like a numbers person. <laughs> no, I'm not hiding anything, I swear. It's just that I don't know that number, but it it's up there and that's right. why we're evolving. And that's why a lot of your uh, pharmaceutical companies and bigger corporations are coming in to support us uh, because what we're doing I believe is um, really profoundly helping helping mm -hmm. people um, and you know it's we're helping people not only in our backyards and regionally and nationally and globally through donating for research but we're starting something new which I if you don't mind I have to say go, I, I go. get so excited this is your, this comes, is your episode because it comes from the heart it go comes ahead from the heart and I won't get teared up she's I'm, extremely you know, yeah. passionate and, yeah. and that's what we love um is we're starting or so, uh, I, I wanted to do this a year year and a half ago right or so but you know it's all about timing okay um and uh we're starting a new support group network an innovative support group network called um direct connect um and it's going to be starting April April 10th in Bucks County PA it's going to be at the Silverman Gallery in Buckingham Green Shopping Center mm -hmm. uh, off of York Road um, it's actually considered Holocong PA it's going to be held the second Tuesday um, of every month again starting April 10th 
Mm -hmm. uh, what, how it differs from other support groups that I've been to is there's going to be chat time. There's definitely people are going to be able to talk about um, their symptoms, you know, um, what's concerning them, things like that. So we can all sort of help one another. Yeah. So we'll have that oval table chat, chat yeah. time. But this is where it gets fantastic. Um, in addition to that, we've lined up um, other recreational activities and educate and resources for pe therapeutic resources. So it's going to be a structured environment for two hours and uh, the wonderful owner of the gallery said if we need to go over the two hours it's A-OK. -okay. So I will hang around if people need to talk more um, about um, what's ailing them. Right. But uh, we're going to have shiatsu which is a relaxation therapy for the body. In fact, right. I just had a session today, this morning. Oh, okay. And I, I'm a, I'm a testo, I'm, I'm a walking testimonial for shiatsu. I feel okay. it's a gentle way of healing mm -hmm. and a subtle way, but I believe it's helpful. Okay. We're going to have yoga specialized for MS. We're going to have educational presentations. We're going to have a little bit of shopping door prizes every month so somebody okay. can just put their name in and win we're going to have food awesome. um, and it's just going to be um, an experience it's going to be a support group network experience it's a place that I really hope that people want to go to mm -hmm. that they want to go and look forward to it now uh, people do have to uh, patients have to register a month prior we're limited with space with where we're at it's going to be at the Silverman gallery right so we can allow 20 patients per monthly meeting okay so registration will be a month prior um, just because we have to make sure that the people are committed to going mm -hmm. um, but if we grow we'll find another facility there so. you go you can always and it's at an out an art gallery yeah I mean how inspirational is that going to be exactly and that's at uh 4950 um uh york road 4920 that, oh, i'm sorry 4920 <laughs> york road that's in buckingham yeah. which does get confused with holly con because it's right on the border yeah. but the silverman gallery is a fantastic place oh my god and the and, and ronda the owner is, is fabulous uh one mm -hmm. other point i want to say about the um the support group network um i've got it lined up where if people should need um transportation round trip i'm going to hook you up so. See how do you get how much how much better than you can get out you can see you can have some fun the whole nine yards now where did they register um, they're going to be um, right now they can register online or they can call my number um, but online registration we're right in the process of making that available okay my my volunteer graphic and artist and I um, the information is up there so if, if if you go to ms run the word for forresearch.org, so it's msrunforresearch.org, you'll learn the, you know, everything about us, and you can click on the Direct Connect support group um, at the, uh, in the, the uh, navigation bar at the top of the page. Also, we have some uh, verbiage about it on our homepage, and you can click on there as well. Um, people that are interested in companies, we're seeking sponsorship because we need the donations right. and the contributions to make this all exist. We yep. already started getting sponsorships and contributions, but um, sponsorship opportunities are up there as well. Um, what we're looking for uh, for each facet that I mentioned, mm -hmm. um, whether it be on a monthly basis or a yearly contribution, because we need that uh, financial reinforcement to keep the to keep it running. Right. You know. So. Awesome. You know. So what are all your platforms that people can reach you out on and check you out on and all that fun stuff? Okay. As I just mentioned, you got the website, which is msrunforresearch.org. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on Facebook, which is MS Run for Research. Um, we're going we're gonna to be in, uh, you know, press releases throughout the local, throughout the local newspapers. Um, also, um, we are going to, we just got... Um, linked up with Amazon so gosh for all those shoppers out there um, if you just shop on Amazon smile um, and and click on run for research um, you'll see our organization will get point it, it sounds minimal but it all adds up yes, it does. it's a it's a 5.5 percent okay. of um, 
Your purchases will get donated automatically to our organization, so please keep us in mind for that. Um, and again, you can get, uh, if you go on our website, you can click right onto that. We have a link for that. Mm -hmm. um, we're now on PayPal Giving Fund. Um, we're we're going to be uh, GoFundMe because uh, we're going we're gonna to have something uh, specific to the support group network for GoFundMe. Right. Um, and then, um, you know, you'll see us, we heavily campaign uh, throughout the year, especially big pushes through our, our events. Speaking of which, save the date. Um, <laughs> Sunday, uh, October 21st, Warminster Community Park, Bucks County, PA. We're doing our biggest annual fundraiser. Um, it's the fourth year doing it. It's our 5K Run Walk uh, Community Family Festival. It is last year. I don't know if if you if you were out last year. It was phenomenal. You have the 5K Run Walk, um, an informal uh, award ceremony, which people love, and then a community day. We've got everything. We we get. Um, last year we had 100 vendors. Um, there's kids. There's animals. There's carnival games. There's food. There's there's presentations. There's an MC. I mean, it is the energy there is incredible, and the the, the atmosphere. Everybody's filled with hope. That everybody comes together for the cause. So it would be great if um, you put it on your calendar and wanted to partake in it on some level. Awesome. Well, that's uh, impressive. Media Group. Going to wrap it up here with Karen Lynn. Um, for MS Run for Research. And uh, check her out, please check her out. Check out everything about it. It's affecting so many people on so many levels. I know my, my wife's aunt had MS. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, just be aware, if you're gonna give to a, a, a foundation, research them, um, do a good job with the researching. And check out Karen and her team, and check out this farm. <laughs> Signing off.